Hi everyone, it's Kenzie Knox and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be painting this wonderful painting of Little Red Riding Hood in the winter. So sit back, relax, and let's start painting. Start off with our palette of Titanium White, Thalo Green, Thalo Blue, Light Blue Violet, Ultramarine Blue, Sap Green, Mars Black, Luminous Opera, Luminous Lemon, and Luminous Orange. And so to begin with, I'm just going to spritz down my canvas with a little bit of water. That'll just help our paint glide a little bit easier on our canvas. And I'm going to take my size 36 filbert brush right here, dip it into some titanium white. I'm just going to load it up and just start painting that in. And then I think we're going to take some luminous lemon and some luminous orange and just start painting that in and some crisscross strokes as, just like this. Just at the top, and it'll be picking up that white underneath, making it nice and bright. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my same dirty brush, tap in a little bit of that luminous opera, move that down around the edges and the bottom a little bit more, a little bit more. Bring that in over here. My brush is a little bit more wet, having a little bit more luminous opera. So just bring that down towards the bottom. Excellent. Go ahead and rinse off your brush. Taking that same filter brush after I've washed it off, that size 36, we're going to go ahead and paint in some of the bottom. So I'm going to take some white with some light blue violet. I'm just going to start painting this in down here. I think we're going to do some more light blue violet and just start painting in some swoops like this. In fact, take some of your thalo blue with some your ultramarine we can just go in the back. I think these ones are just a little bit darker. Back to your luminous or light blue violet. Over here. Grab a little white. Add in some shadows here. And off your brush just really quickly. Just grab some titanium white. And we're just going to blend some of this in. Oops. It's okay. Let's grab some more titanium white. Grab some more of their Thalo Blue with some ultramarine or some white. We're just going to go along the bottom here and paint this in. Grab some titanium white, go above it. More titanium white. Grab some more of your Thalo Blue and your Ultramarine and your Titanium White. I'm just going to pull on the edges over here. Let's take a little bit darker. Get your brush a little bit more wet. Let's blend it in a bit better. I'll do the same over here. Bottom again, grab some more white, and some of that out. Grab 
some more light. Grab the rest of your light, or the rest of my light, and blend that out like that. Okay, excellent. Rinse off your brush. Grabbing our size 16 filbert brush, I'm gonna get that wet, tap off the drips. I'm gonna dip into some phthalo white a little bit of that Luminous Opera. And we're just going to actually add some highlights in here. I mean, a little bit more. Make this a pathway, maybe. Keeping those scoops nice and scoopy. Maybe it goes off to the side. Can you grab? Oh, can you grab some white? Some opera. A little too much. Grabbing some more white to opera and the path maybe go this way. Your brush a little bit wet. Got some more paint. The path come this way. Inside your brush. We're gonna grab some titanium white with some luminous. Lemon and some luminous orange. I'm just gonna go back over some of these highlights over here. Then we can also take some of that and we can come along the pathway a little bit. I'm gonna grab some more of that luminous opera real quick to add some more in the here. It's taking off my paint rather than adding it, so we might have to dry it off before we finish that. So let's just rinse off our brush, let that dry. We're gonna work on some clouds in our sky. I'm grabbing a nice little mop brush like this. We're gonna take some titanium white. Just a little bit of it, and we're just gonna add, put that aside. And now I think we're gonna work on some trees. So grabbing my size four fan brush. I'm not going to get that wet. I'm going to go ahead and tap into some phthalo green and some phthalo blue. These will be some dark trees. So back here, 
Now our tree is a little bit shorter. So just tap and make it wider as you go down. Load up your brush again. Load up your brush. Need more paint. So adding more thalo green and thalo blue. Mix those up. Tap in, since that's where our path is going, we're going to tap in a tree right over here. And another one right here. And this can be as wide or as narrow as you'd like them. They can be thick, they can be thin. And just remember to reload your brush almost like every tree, if not more. Loading your brush is very important with the fan brush. Especially if you want those sharp marks at the sides of them. Thalo blue, thalo green. And I'm just going to add one more right here, a bit taller. Make sure these come down all the way. And then, I'm going to go ahead and rinse out my brush. So in order to do, to do the next step, we need to dry off our canvas. So either you can take a break or you can dry it off with a hair dryer. So I'm just going to dry it off real quick. Okay, so once that is dried to the touch, we're going to go ahead and take our fan brush, our number four fan brush again. We're going to take our fan brush, dip it in some white, load it up real nice, and start tapping in. I'm going to start on this tree since I have so much paint on my brush. We don't want to overload the trees because it'll blend too much into the background. So we're just covering some of it. a little more. Get a little more. Okay, now we're going to do something very not typical. We're going to take some thalo blue, some ultramarine blue, and some white. And we're going to take this color, and we're just going to go over some of the tree. The shadowed color. And allow it to mix in with that white. So if you go over the white, it's perfectly fine. And then you can go ahead. I'm just going to sit those down in the snow. Rinse off your brush. I think what we're going to add now is a little cabin right here. I think I want a cabin back here. So I'm going to take my size 6 filbert brush. And I'm going to take... Let's take some of that orange. And add some turquoise green. So let's add some turquoise green to that orange. You get a nice little brown shade here. We're going to just add in a little rectangle here. A little triangle. And the roof. Diagonal. 
Hold that in. I think I want it a little bigger, so I'm gonna just extend it a little farther. So again, that's turquoise and luminous orange mixed together. More tur turquoise makes it a little bit darker. Just paint that in. And since it's farther away, there's going to be less detail to show. So if the corners aren't perfect, they don't need to be. It should look more rounded in shape. Okay, then rinse out your brush. Okay, now we're going to take some titanium white. Actually, we're going to take that tree shade that we just used. Take that and come down at an angle and over. Fill that in. I'm going to take, rinse off your brush. I'm going to take some titanium white on the tip of our brush. Just add it to the other side, whatever. Then rinse off your brush. I'm going to take some more titanium white. I'm just going to add little dabs for windows and the door. I'm going to take some more. You guys going to come down here. We're going to add a window here, window here, window here, and a window here. Rinse out your brush. Oh, actually, I think we're going to add one more window up here. Okay, then rinse off your brush. Going back to our size 16 filbert brush, we're going to take some more titanium white. That luminous opera that's left over. I'm going to go back over a little bit over this pathway right here. Reloading my brush. Reloading my brush. Get a little water on your brush if your paint's not really flowing that well. Continue with the scoops. Coming this way. Then we're going to grab some titanium white, some luminous lemon, some luminous yellow. Color is very potent, so you really don't need that much color. I added too much color, so I had to tone it or add some more white to it. And we're just gonna add little highlights in the pathway. Just scooping. Making sure it's getting wider as it comes towards us. Like that. Just gonna take a little bit more. Just add it going out this way. Rinse off your brush. Okay, now we're gonna take some of our Thalo blue, our ultramarine blue. Mix those two together. Add a little bit of white to it. I'm going to come over here, shadow in these sides over here. And we want those shadowed in. Even back here, I want this kind of shadowed in. So we got some shadows here and then behind the house. So this can all be shadowed here. Got a little shadow for your house there. Okay, 
and rinse off your brush. I'm just going to add some light blue violet to some titanium white. I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to rinse off my brush. Just mixing with the colors a little bit too much. I'm going to take some titanium white. And then I'm going to grab my light blue violet. Light blue violet. Just separating the path from the highlights. Don't go over your entire hill or you'll lose all your highlights. I just want that path to be narrow and then wider, wider, and the widest over here. I want it to come this way, so, okay. Excellent. Just going some of this. Okay, so rinse off your brush. Take your size 6 filbert brush, grab in that luminous orange and luminous yellow color. I'm just going to light up this cabin. Going over the windows. That way usually helps um, lighten the color up a bit. Rinse off my brush. I'm going to grab more titanium white. Get it just on the tip of my bristles and add it to the top. On the side, even over here, my cabin. Rinse off your brush. I went over the top again with that Thaba blue, ultramarine, and titanium white color. Okay, I'm rinse off my brush. For the door, we're going to do perhaps sap green. Okay, rinse out your brush. So before we start anything, I want to add a white mist to the background. So, so in order to do that, we need to dry off our canvas. So go ahead and dry off your canvas with a hair dryer. Okay, so once it's dry, I'm going to take this medium-sized mop brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of titanium white to it, just a little bit. And I'm just going to circular motion. Add some white to it. even in front of the cabin. Now you don't need much white at all, or you'll, and if you do too much white, you can always take some water on your brush and kind of wash it out a little bit. You can always start with some water too if you're more comfortable with that method. I kind of really want to set these back. Maybe it's snowing over here. It's like a blizzard. But your painting must be dry in order to do this step. And if it's not, you'll get green and blue and all sorts of different colors everywhere. You will not be happy. Just 
all very faded. So once you're happy with that, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off our brush. Okay, so now we're gonna add some trees to the foreground. So I'm gonna take my size six color brush, grab that turquoise green with that orange, take some brown, and take that color, and we're gonna add a tree over here. Add a tree over here. Tree in here. And a tree back here. Another tree back here. Add a tree right here. Add a tree right here. Grab your size two filbert brush. And these trees, we're gonna do, I think some sap green, turquoise, and a little bit of black. Sap green, turquoise, and black. So we're just gonna plop these in over here. I'm making these spotty for a reason because I want to be able to see through the background. So these are definitely more spotty than the full bushes back there. And a little snow on them too, so keep that in mind. And then for the trees closer to us, I'm going to add some phthalo green to that color. Some phthalo blue. I have a darker green color. I'm going to go in with this color here. It's going to be more saturated as it comes closer to us and darker. Sit that right in there, grab more color, add that up here, again making these kind of spotty. Adding more color. Coming over here. Bring that one down to about there. Actually, you know what? Take some phthalo blue and some phthalo green. Just for the turquoise, lighten it up a bit. A little bit of black. I'm gonna bring these up just a bit higher, but not off the canvas. Rinse off your brush. We're gonna take some titanium white with some light blue violet. I mean ultramarine violet, <laughs> ultramarine blue and some phthalo blue. Mix that up. It's gonna be a deeper blue color. So we're gonna start covering these trees in a little bit of snow. Just a little bit because we don't want them to blend into the ground almost. 
that makes sense. Or just fade away. We want that contrast on top of the trees. I'm going to take that color, a little more ultramarine blue in there, make it a little darker. And come over here. Scatter some snow into here too. Don't be scared to reload your brush when needed. off your brush. Then we're going to take some phthalo green, some ultramarine blue, and phthalo blue. We're going to add a tree that goes off of the canvas over here. So it comes down to right about there. And again, I'm making these spotted. black to that color. We want this to be darker. Okay, rinse out your brush. I'm going to grab some ultra green, some white, more ultra green. It's really dark back here in the woods, so we want this to be dark. Okay, rinse out your brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of white and light blue violet. And just go over some of these up here. That might catch the light. And then rinse off your brush. I'm going to take our size. size 10 flat brush and we're going to mix up that turquoise green with that orange left over get that brown shade a little more green to it 
I'm waiting for to draw in some trees over here. So I'm gonna have one tree that comes up right here. off there so add some turquoise to that color I mean some phthalo green you know what to make this easier we're just gonna add some raw umber to our palette. So go ahead and add raw umber to your palette. So let's scoop that up. You wanna keep your tree thicker at the base. And this at the top. And we'll have another tree right here. So like here, kind of branches off, and then have one more back here. Not a very big guy, but just one right there. And then a smaller one right here. And one right here. Okay, then rinse off your brush. I'm gonna use my size two brown brush. You can use a liner brush if you feel like it. I may switch off to one. Just remember that you'll have to take lots of paint with you. You can your branches. And you can paint these in whatever you'd like. I have some hanging down. So. I think somebody's cutting the grass or weed whacking outside, of course. Remember that you always need a little bit of water on your brush.
So for back here, I might use my liner brush for these smaller trees. Switching to my liner brush right here. I get that wet. Tap into my paint. Liner brushes are harder on mixed media paper than they are on canvases, so don't be um, afraid to use it if you see <laughs> my results come out not so great. And just remember that if your paint's not flowing, it's most likely because you don't have enough water on, on your brush not because you need more paint. Okay, I'm going to the brush. So, to my canvas, I've added cobalt blue, light blue violet, and titanium white. I'm going to start off with the cobalt blue for these um, branches in here. Running this stone. I really like to add a little bit of stone on the side of the tree. And you don't have to add stone to every branch, but I mean, feel free to add. Some stone. You know what, on, I'm gonna add the snow to the left side, this color, and the right side over here. Rinse out my brush. I'll take my light blue violet and to this side of the tree. Just a little light. I'm just using the light blue violet. But you really won't be able to see that much snow on these branches back right here. We don't want them to go missing in the snow, right? <laughs> so be careful when you're adding your snow to your trees. You don't want them to completely disappear. Okay, then rinse off your brush. And of course, we can add a little bit of white. And then just a little bit here and there. This is supposed to be a shadow, so I'm only going to do some of it. I'm not taking water brush with my paint. Because I want it to be clumpy. Oh, we didn't add the lips of violet over here. I'm not going to go lower than that because of the 
shadows of the trees. As if the light's coming this way, but not of course that way, if that makes sense. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Okay, now we're gonna add our little figure in the woods. So, taking my size six velvet brush and grabbing some scarlet red and some crimson. I'm gonna paint in a figure. So taking my crimson and black, taking a dark red, I'm gonna have a figure start up here. It's almost like Little Red Riding Hood in the woods. In fact, you probably could call her Little Red Riding Hood. So our hood is like this, right? And then our sh shoulders. And I think we're gonna have our hood come like that. And then the back of it down a little more. Okay, and then we're gonna have the end of our sleeve right here. And then we're going to take our scarlet. Actually, let's let that dry. Okay, so taking our scarlet red, we're going to go on the outside of our gown. Right here. Our shoulder. Our 
forearm, her other shoulder, and her back, and then back here, and then along the scoops. And then the front ones too. And then see a little black, just to separate where her arm is. So her arm is coming out over this way. And in front, I'm just going to outline. Her gown like that. Maybe cinch the waist, or maybe it's a belt. Her waist. I'm going to take a little bit of orange. We're going to add a cat orange, a little bit of white, and a little bit of blue to make this little skin color here. We're just going to add a little hand here. It's not going to be anything spectacular because it's just her hand holding the lantern. A little round brush. A little round brush. I'm going to take the black. I'm going to get it wet. Tap into some black. I'm gonna have a little lantern that she's holding on to. Okay, so now we're gonna add luminous yellow. Luminous lemon and luminous red to our palette. Taking some titanium white with our little round brush, we're just going to add these two luminous yellows together and we're going to fill in the lamp. Just like that. And rinse off your brush. Going back to our size 6 filbert, I'm going to take that luminous red. We're going to go around her arm on her shoulder, around here, front pieces of her gown, and her hood. I'm just going to light up this side. And rinse out your brush. Grab your scarlet. We're just going to do some more highlighting. I'm just going to go around her shoulder here. And her arm. I'm going to take that luminous red. Go over this part of her dress right here. Over there again. Over here again. And over here again. And off your brush. Using that same brush, we're going to tap into some white, that luminous color. 
I'm just going to illuminate around her. Carefully scumble. Around the dress. Carefully. out your brush. Grab your size 14 or oh, 14 or large filbert brush. Get that a little wet. Tap out the drips. Grab some titanium white with that luminous color. I'm just going to add some highlights to the trees. Just some of them. Especially this guy right here, because this one's right smack dab in front of her. And rinse off your brush. Grabbing your size 6 filbert brush. Dip into that white with that luminous yellows. I'm just going to outline our dress right here. Going down in her arm right here. Even her belt right here. I'm going to take that and do a little arm like that to go around her belt. I take that line and go a little bit around her body. A little bit around her arm and over here too. Her hood. Just a little bit. Rinse out your brush. Grab some more color. Just gonna illuminate the handle here in her hand. Grab a little bit more. We're just gonna highlight this part of her dress right here. And we're done, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye!